Often programming in games can be quite obtuse or very difficult to get your head around with because they're often tied up with like weird computer language or hacking games. But what Escape String aims to do is to distill down programming a thing to do something in a very simple and easy to pick up way that means that anyone can have a go at programming something. And it provides a puzzle game that means that you can go at your own pace, but really think about all of your solutions and keep getting better and better at something or more efficient at something over time. You play as a robot that has been trussed in a landfill site and just before destruction you come to life and decide that you want to escape through some sentient voice. The story isn't really what matters here, it's the puzzles. And what you do with this is put in a command string of up, down, left or right to order the moves of what your robot must do to make it from one side of the room to the other across each of the 40 levels. The game starts out quite simple with you having to like jump over gaps by pressing up but then them being slightly off center so you might need to walk forward a step and then press up to jump rather than pressing jump and then just diving into the hole and you have to kind of do a little bit of trial and error to work out visually how your robot moves and what are the like how far does each movement take you because jumps go further than steps for example crouching means that you might not move nearly as far forward as other movements so it's all kind of relative so you need to kind of plot out what you're doing this game then moves about the 25 percent mark into the game from a avoid the obstacles to what i would call the vhs style of games because what you're doing is there's loads of enemies that start to move and that might be compactors trying to smash trash from the ceilings it could be floating robots coming towards you or other robots just like you that are your enemies that you need to avoid and so what you're doing is programming in when you're going to meet them and how you're going to avoid them. So some of them might be being able to duck and crouch and move forward, but you can't duck forever because the next movement will either take you forward, backwards, or you'll have to stand back up again. You can't kind of crouch and stay crouched. Um, so you need to time it all perfectly so that you either jump over something or go underneath something alongside all of the other traps and so this might mean that you'll be going like backwards then forwards then up then down then trying to line it up for jumps and it gets quite tricky and the beauty of this is working out either in stages how you control and get through a level and then returning back and putting it all through as one single command string because what that then does is it unlocks additional um, like golden tokens for you for having completed it all in one string and not getting hurt <laughs> uh, and also if you do it within the minimal amount of moves you then get this golden token which allows you to unlock additional skins. They're purely cosmetic though, so if you're just looking at trying to get to the end of the level, then this is still be a meaty challenge because you are having to deal with lots of multiple things in tandem late in the game. To combat that though, you are allowed to break up your strings into three sections because you're allowed 15 inputs per string, you're allowed three strings. And so what you can do is almost chunk the level into different segments and just get through each individual bit. And it also means that if you've survived part one, you kind of know what that string is and then you can work from there later on as you replay a level if you die later on. There's one other thing that I wanted to mention about this game and it's purely from a visual standpoint and it's Sometimes it was tricky to understand how far each of your robot's movements would take you. And same for the enemies as well. And I almost felt like, and I'm on the fence on this suggestion, did there need to be some kind of gr dotted line graph that you could almost overlay on top if you was having an accessibility issue so that you could work out actually a jump will take you this far, a step will take you this far, a crouch will take you this far. And same for the enemies for when they come towards you because I found that I was doing it with fingers on the screen <laughs> trying to work out exactly like how far things would go and then planning my moves ahead. And that's fine from a tactical perspective but I think people with spatial um disabilities might struggle particularly with this style of game only suggestion though i do think probably having that graph would make the game very easy so it is really swings and roundabouts overall though escape string is a nifty little puzzle game that has a very simple and easy platinum to get if you want it but there's plenty of puzzle and challenges beyond that should you want to dive deeper higher plane games is part of the higher plane network a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. 
The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.